was born and raised here. I went to school here. I was educated. I had everything going for me. But in 1947, Stalin invited the Armenians to return to Soviet Armenia. So the Armenian Progressive League organized caravans of American Armenians to return to Soviet Armenia. I joined a group of 151. I was 19 at the time. I did not know what I was getting into. So by repatriating, you lost your American citizenship? I lost everything. But I did want to get to see what was the Soviet Union. When we reached Batumi in, Soviet, in the Soviet Union, we were ushered into barracks that had no running water, really no facilities at all, and all of a sudden the food changed from whatever we were accustomed to, to the Soviet menu, which was cheese, if you're lucky, no sugar, butter, bread, black bread, and Obviously, a lot of people were disappointed, but the elders of this group said, this is Soviet Georgia. When we get to Armenia, it would be better. When we got to Armenia, it was worse, yes. They gave us apartments about half the size of this room, three people to a room, and of course we had luggage, so there was really no place to move around. I did not expect to see that type of situation once I got there. Because, you know, I, I stood in bread lines, and when you get to the window of the pay, there's no bread, and you wonder what the heck you're going to do. One evening, I was awakened by shouts, screaming, and a lot of noise in the courtyard where we lived. In the courtyard, there were trucks and military hurling these Armenians into trucks. And I was about to go down to get a closer view. One of my friends in the, in the room said, you better not go down there, Tad. And I said, I want to see what's going down there. He said, if you're lucky, they will shoot and kill you. If you're not lucky, they will put you on one of those trucks and will never see you again. Over a hundred thousand people who were against Stalin's uh, concepts were rounded up and shipped to Siberia. There were two, three others that had American wives. Polish, Irish descent, they approach me about writing a petition to the U.S. ambassador in Moscow and asking him, begging him, to see what he can do to use his offices to get us back home, the petition. I wrote it and we agreed upon a date that we were supposed to go. Well, when I got to the airport, the KGB, or the NKVD at that time, arrested me, took me to the NKVD offices, questioned me, and yes, they beat me up, and then they allowed me to go. And to this day, I still don't know why. From that day on, I knew that I would not be getting out of the Soviet Union. Only the Russians, by giving me a exit visa, would I be able to retain my American citizenship. Once I knew that I was not going to be allowed home, basketball saved my life. Because when I played, everything else, politics and everything else, was secondary.
I was player of the year here in Michigan in 1946 by the Detroit News, Free Press, and we had the Detroit Times. Apparently, I played, they liked the way I played, so I became a member of the team and managed to travel to almost every part of the Soviet Union. And they got to know me very well. So I made my living, believe it or not, by playing basketball and teaching classes to 10, 15, 16 year olds. In 1953, we were playing for the national championship in Riga. When we got to Moscow, Stalin had died. It was like a morgue. There was nobody on the streets of this huge city. Everybody was living in anticipation, suspense. Nobody knew what would come next. And after one game, my teammates and I were returning to the Hotel Neva when suddenly there was a barrage of rocks thrown at us. And <laughs> thank God it missed me. But I turned around for a second and confronted the people that were throwing at us. And my teammate grabbed me and said, run town, because they think we're Georgians. And they hate Georgians. Things began to change when Stalin died in March. 1953. And of course, shortly after that, the so-called Iron Curtain slowly melted away. And literally, there were hundreds and then thousands of Western Europeans and Americans coming to the Soviet Union as tourists. Change came, and if it didn't, I would not have ever gotten out of there.